what is up everybody today i'm going to be showing you guys i'm going to be letting you guys in on all my hacks and tips and tricks to get the perfect base you guys know that perfecting your base is one of the best feelings ever and i perfected mine i'm so obsessed with it so i'm super excited to share it with you guys a lot of people on tiktok actually asked me about my base not a lot of people on youtube but this is for all you girlies who need a new base routine or are looking to perfect your base. I'm going to show you guys all the products I use, all the little tips, little tricks, and little hacks that make my makeup look and stay looking good throughout the day. So without further ado, let's just get on to today's video. Okay, so I already started with my eyes done. I used the e.l.f. Brow Freeze for my eyebrows, um, the Too Faced Concealer for my eyebrows to conceal them, then the Positions Formula Eyeliner, and these lashes are from Amazon. I will make sure to link them down below for you guys. I don't know how close is too close, you know what I mean? The most important part of doing your makeup and making sure your base is good, I'm pretty sure you've heard it a million hundred thousand times, is Rep. crucial for you to know your skin type and what your skin needs personally me my skin is super dry but it gets oily throughout the day so i use a lot of hydrating products on my face then a lot of powder and that's just kind of how i keep a balance so just find your balance uh, i use this moisturizing cream and it's super super thick it's the cetaphil one and honestly this saves my life as soon as i get out the shower i put it on when i wash my face in the morning i put this on after I love this cream. It is super thick though, so if you don't have super severely dry skin, you might not want to use this because your makeup might just slip off your face. The primer that I use is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer as well as the No Filter Primer from ColourPop. I've never heard nobody talk about this, but I feel like it's actually really good. It does a good job at like making your makeup look softer. It's nothing like um, for matte or dry skin. I feel like these are both good for whatever type of skin you have. And I personally just put it... In my, oh my god, I just squirted it all over myself. And make sure you're rubbing all your products in upwards, not downwards. My skin gets super red when I put these products on. Now I put the Power Grip Primer on and I just use like a squirt and a half maybe. And I kind of just tap this into my T-zone and especially around my nose area. I wouldn't recommend any silicone primers because that will just make your makeup slip off of your face if you want a smooth base you're gonna have to not use silicone primers something that i noticed made a huge difference in my makeup routine is this elf halo glow i have this in the first shade and honestly i don't like a glowy base i like a soft matte base but i use a lot of glowy products since like i said my skin is pretty dry but this um i forgot to put this on my face one time and I never really noticed a difference that it made until I didn't wear it. And I noticed my skin did not look as soft and like it didn't look as smooth like my base. Like this really helps your base look super soft and smooth. Um, I kind of just blend it out with a little like thing. So I just, I put quite a lot on and I love, I'm using my Ariel sponge to blend this out. But I love the way it makes my makeup look um, underneath. You could also wear it by itself, but personally, this is nowhere near enough coverage for me. Um, I like to wear it sometimes when I'm running errands on the weekends, but it's super glowy. And I don't know if it like blurs your skin or what it does, but it does seriously make a big difference in the way your makeup or your foundation applies on top of it then we'll go in with is my dior foundation you obviously do not need to use dior foundation during the weekdays i use my ColourPop foundation this foundation is literally like 14 or 16 dollars at ulta so you definitely don't have to buy the dior foundation if you want to use like if you want to follow my base routine because this is the one i'm using most of the time because i only wear this on the weekends so you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good base that's all i'm trying to say i've tried brushes i've tried different sponges i've tried everything and nothing 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 compares to these like my, what are they called microfiber the juno and co sponges i know you guys know what i'm talking about this is a juno and co sponge real techniques also has these like microfiber sponges but trust me you will need a microfiber sponge 
there's nothing that compares to the way microfiber sponge applies your foundation i've tried using different sponges but nothing looks as good as a microfiber sponges i uh, they're like six or eight dollars i'm not sure but nonetheless they're super affordable and they literally do your makeup so much justice i spend a lot of time you guys have probably heard me say this a million times but I spend a lot of time really packing this into my skin. My skin is already so glowy and soft, even with nothing, just the foundation. So you want to make sure you're patting in the foundation really well into every part of your skin. Outline the top of my eyebrows with the foundation. I'm 100% a blush girl, but I do like bronzer just to add a little bit more, like, snatch, do you know what I mean? I use the Putty, the e.l.f. Putty bronzer in Honey Drip, if you guys are wondering. And I use this makeup out right now for Rush. And I just dip it in there, and then I stipple it around my forehead. I blend it all the way down into my eyebrows. Just like that. Do my cheeks. You know, just stipple it in and blend. And I like to do my bronzer first because then I clean it up with concealer. But now I'm going to get my Too Faced concealer. And at that bottom half, do a little line. And right here on my forehead and also just my lips. I just... Oh. Just a little bit of that Too Faced concealer. I use two concealers. This one, uh, I'm just going to blend in right here. Just to kind of brighten up the center of my face. And then to really snatch the bronzer. And then since I blended my bronzer all over my forehead, I'm just bringing a little bit more brightness into the middle area. So for the concealer, you're just going to blend it down. Blending is always, 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 always going to be key, guys. I'm not really going to contour my nose. I'm just going to like... Actually, no, I am going to contour my nose. I'm trying to do like a light, light nose contour. So now I'm going to do my under eyes. So I'm going to use the little Too Faced concealer. Just a little bit of it just because it's more full coverage than this concealer which I use for brightening my eyes. And this is the Juvia's Place and this is the lightest shade that they have. Really take your time when blending out your products, trust me. Because if you like leave everything half blended, it's you're going to be able to tell and it's going to show in the end result. I like to blend my concealer all the way down here and across. So I kind of leave my bronzer looking like this. Um, it looks a little crazy right now but... I add blush after and that's why. I also snatch up my nose contour with the concealer and not powder because I notice that powder sometimes when I bake or when I put it on my nose, since my nose is kind of textured, it kind of leaves a like, it stays on there. Now I'm going to add my liquid blush. Put two little dots and a one dot on my nose. And to blend out my cream um, blush, which this is Rare Beauty Blush and Happy, I use a beauty blender just because I feel like it blends out super easily. And it's way faster than using a brush. And it's like way less like harsh, I feel like. I put too much on my nose, but what is new? I'm actually really starting to like my full cheeks. I used to hate that I have such like a chubby face. But I'm actually starting to like my cheeks, especially with like blush on them. It's so cute. Now on to powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Powder in Butter, but you definitely don't have to use this powder on the weekdays. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and that powder is really good too. I'm going to make sure there's no creases underneath my eyes. Then I'm just going to get my powder puff. And really run the powder pat the powder in if you're not using a powder puff literally what are you doing and i'm just gonna pat 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 i notice when i do this like there's like minimal to no creasing underneath my eyes 
So make sure you're really patting it in there. And that looks like, like, look at the difference. So good. So now I usually use my loose powder to set my whole face. I tap it into my whole face and this really makes sure everything stays in place and stays super matte and nice. I definitely focus it around my mouth area quite a bit more than the rest of my face just because this is what creases the most so once that's all powdered into my skin surprise surprise but it's more powder this nyx can't stop won't stop powder is literally holy grail i've used this so many times the only thing that sucks about it is you cannot take it with you anywhere because it's so fragile that if i keep it in my backpack it will shatter if i keep it in my purse it will shatter but it's so good i just get a fluffy brush and i just Pat that all in and pat that all in my forehead as well. And I get the, I think I get the lightest shade. This one is in there. They have different shades. Um, but this makes your makeup look super, super soft. And if you ever notice that like your makeup is like not blending out well, you could always use a setting spray. I would recommend using the NYX Cam, I mean the MAC Prep and Prime if you are having trouble blending out your products. I put some powder down my nose just for the contour vibes. See, my favorite part of my makeup blush. I'm using the Dior blush, the pink one, um, and the pink power, pink, pink power, Kylie blush, pink power. And just watch how pretty this is. This blush, this brush is perfect. This is the Lexi 514 blush brush. And this blush, I mean this brush literally blends out your blush like no other. I love having super pink cheeks. And I put that a little bit on my nose since I already put so much on my nose. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Now I'm wiping off my powder. One of my favorite parts is this brightening powder. I love bright under eyes, like I said. This brightening powder is literally everything. What I like to do is I like to get it off the tip of my powder puff and tap it into like my inner corner right here. And then I bring it all the way down into my blush and it really seamlessly blends in your blush to your under eyes. Okay. Okay, I wish I would have showed you guys that kind of before and after, but this makes your under eyes super, super bright. And this is just the Essence Banana Powder. And then I just get my brush, my little like real technique brush. I dip in there and I kind of like brush away any excess as well as like dust some more on there. And then I really blend it into my cheeks. How seamlessly everything just blends in together amazing for the days that i'm feeling like my makeup is not looking as smooth or i want it to look smoother or i need it to last longer i will use the makeup fixing mist by pixie this smooths out your makeup completely and i love this mist i've been using it since middle school i just recently bought a new one because i noticed sometimes my makeup wasn't looking the best today i actually took a lot of time making sure i perfected my base because of course i'm showing you guys but let's just be real sometimes your makeup doesn't come out how you want it to or maybe you just want to use setting spray you just want some hydration back into your face there's little patches on your face use this i swear to god it will change it all make it super smooth and then if you do want a more matte matte finish like i usually do after i apply the setting spray i wait for it to dry and then i apply this powder all over my face again your makeup will not move it's going to be matte it's going to be fixed everything's going to be a-okay so that's a little hack for you guys now it's time for inner corner highlight i love inner corner highlight i don't really put highlight anywhere else besides my inner corner and my nose i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see where i'm putting this basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it like right along follow this little you're gonna follow along your eye so it's not like a dot in the middle of your eye you're just gonna follow like trace basically trace along the edge of your eyes to go like that right like right here because it just kind of brightens your eyes a little bit more and then now i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty diamond bomb 
and top it all off. I have some concealer in my hair. We'll fix that right now. Drag it down my nose, hopefully to distract from this big pimple in the middle of my face. Next, I'm going to do my white eyeliner. I get the white eyeliner, the next one in milk. I'm really quickly just going to do a little lip combo with you guys. I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in New Truffle. Get my NYX lipstick in Dainty Days. Put that right there. Blend it with my finger. That is a final lip combination and this is the final look, a final base look. Um, I'm super obsessed. It takes a long time to perfect your base, but once your base is perfected, it's the best feeling ever. So if you guys do get the chance to try this routine out, make sure to tag me in it, send me pictures, um, DM me on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow my Instagram and show me. Um, I hope you guys love this um, base as much as I do. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.